What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Now after a win in last episode, we actually managed, uh, managed, man that is a new word, managed um, to finish top of the tree, top of the table somehow. We got there on net run rate, which is absolutely awesome. We're taking on middle six here in the quarterfinals. I'll leave a link to last episode in the top right hand corner of the video. And uh, while we are at the beginning, we do actually have some exciting news once I can get this field sorted. My god, so annoying. Um, there is actually some exciting news, probably coming in about three or four episodes time. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it'll be around, I think it'll be episode 60 actually, um, that we will have hopefully that special announcement. So I'm really looking forward to that. Really hopefully looking forward to getting a win in this quarterfinal. Um, it has, well, I don't think we have actually won a domestic T20 comp on this career mode save. We didn't get it with the Barbados Tridents. Um, Lahore, we didn't get there either. So we haven't actually won a T20 trophy with our player yet. So I'm hoping that we can do it here with Lancashire. Um, as I said, we finished top of the table. I assume Middlesex finished fourth um, in the next group. So that is who we are taking on here today. We got off to an amazing start. Um, Jimmy Anderson, I think, with the ball was outstanding today um, and really did a number on the top order. So I'm happy with that. Um, not so happy with the runs that have been scored. It is a little bit high, um, higher than I probably would have liked. But at the end of the day, when you're four wickets down outside of the power play, you can't really complain a whole lot about that, especially when your first over does only go for two as well. Like, you cannot, cannot complain about that. We just need to keep going, keep trucking away. Did win the toss, elected to bowl, um, just because I think it will give us that opportunity to have a bat and chase down the score later on. We have seen another player um, hit the hay in the form of James Franklin. So Steve Finn in at number seven. So that shows you that this Middlesex side, especially with no Compton now, as we've knocked out his off stump, are very light on batting. With Steve Finn coming in at number seven, and Sandu coming in at number 8 with a high score of 7 in 2020 cricket. He is going to need a whole lot more than that. But Middlesex are in a whole lot of trouble here with the score the way it is. I don't know if that has carried. Possibly if the keeper was up, it could have. I definitely think it came off the bat. If it wasn't off the pad, uh, it would have been very, very close to a LBW decision. But that was not the case and um, I don't really mind this too much. I don't mind the singles and the strike getting rotated because Middlesex need more than singles at the moment. They need boundaries and they need them fast. At the moment, the way things are going, they're not looking like they are going to be able to bat out those 20 overs, which is just what we want to do. An easy chase. I don't care if we don't get a bat today, to be fair. If we don't get a bat, I am not going to be entirely disappointed because at the end of the day, when it comes to quarterfinals and playoff cricket, it doesn't matter what you do. All that matters is that the team does win, and we've got off to a fantastic start here, it must be said. And with Finn and Sandu in now, I can only imagine what they have coming next. Oh! We've found the edge, but it hasn't gone and carried. Possibly could have brought the keeper up, but it was a very faint one. I don't think even with him up, it would have carried. Um, but you've got to be happy with this start. I mean... Halfway stage of the innings, six wickets down, not even 60 runs on the board. That one there is very wide, tapped away quite easily by Sandu. If things, the run rate kept up at the moment, they would just get below 120. I think that probably is the total that they are looking at. However, with being six wickets down um, and a fairly long tail, it does seem, that 120 does seem a very, very, very long way away, it must be said. Four wickets. I just think if we can grab another one here, um, especially Stephen Finn. Like, Stephen Finn, don't get me wrong, the guy can bat. He's an okay bat. You know, he's not... A, personally, he's not a number seven. You know, maybe a guy who's number nine. He's a, he's good for the odd hit here and there. You know, he's, he's, he's all right. He can get the odd knock here and there. I've seen him play um, in one-day internationals, and he can... Oh, that's... I think, yes, I was going to say, if that has come off the pad, that is definitely going to be out. Sandu just getting himself all caught up there. Doesn't increase that high score of seven, playing pretty much to his average. Ravi Patawan now. Why this guy wasn't batting um, ahead of Sandu, I don't know. I mean, he's got a high score, only a high score of 14. Um, but that is definitely better than the seven that was there. And he actually does have a semi 
decent average and I think a semi-decent strike rate as well I can't quite remember um, what it was but we pick up our second so seven down now a middle six um, which again is just absolutely perfect we only go for another two um, in the over we do pick up our second wicket as well one over left to go and uh, we will be looking to try and hone in pick up that three wicket bag if we can and just keep the runs down man just keep the runs down that is exactly what we are doing at this stage the run rate just continues to keep dropping oh that's got to come off the bat otherwise that's plum umpire oh there must have been some bat involved in that that was looking as though it was cannoning in to middle stump steve finn is actually looking at it now a very very tall man i like i knew he was tall i knew he was a tall bowler but he is just bloody you look at him in that shot that we had just before and he is like head and shoulders above Joss Butler. And I don't think Butler is actually that small of a guy, you know? Like, he's a wicketkeeper, so he's obviously not going to be huge. But Steve Finn is just absolutely massive. It's like going back to uh, Don Bradman 14, whenever you played against Mohamed Afram for the Pakistan team. And he was just an absolute monster. Like, you batted him again. Uh, I'm trying to think of who it was. There was someone... Um, I think it was in the Pakistan team. It might have been Shafiq. And whenever they batted together, which was very rarely, because obviously um, they batted at different ends of the uh, batting spectrum, and that overthrows is not what we need. That is not what we need at all. But it was just quite funny to see that. And that is the same. Steve Finn is a monster among men, it must be said. Right, final ball of our spell. Only gone for nine. It's going to be nudged away to go for ten I can't remember the last time someone bowled 2 for 10 in a 2020 game. That is absolutely outstanding. Really just put the foot on the throat, it must be said, of the... Oh, we're going to have to bring Perry in. Jesus, Perry hasn't bowled yet. This is, a, um, this is actually a chance for Middlesex to possibly, I was going to say, get some runs on the board, but not the case. We get there in absolute smashing style, it must be said. 10 wickets. 10 wicket win in a quarter final. That is absolutely immense. As we can see, Hamid getting the man of the match with his 50, not out of 39. Brown 42 off 26. And uh, really, just a very poor day at the office in this quarter final for Middlesex, it must be said. Bowled out for 88 with three overs left to go. And really, there is just nothing that you can say good about this Middlesex side. They do actually have, when you look at it, some pretty. Decent batsman, but a very, very long tail. As you can see, Franklin at number six, class as a bowler in this game. Steve Finn at seven. He actually had, well, Rainer, the number 10, actually had the second top score, which is very surprising. But Sam Robson's a good player. Nick Compton's a good player. Steve Smith's a good player. They just did not deliver here today, and we were all over them with the ball. If you have liked what you've seen, guys, make sure you smash that like button. Give us some support heading into the semi final. Can't wait for that. If you are new, please do hit that subscribe button. Social media links can be found down below in the description. If you do want to have a chat, hit me up down there. And until next time, guys, Kakita Noah. See you soon.